Hey folks, my name is Pat Hasberg, and I am the new owner of DNS Bait and Tackle and Fly Shop on Madison's Fashionable North Side. Tonight I'm going to be tying a caddis pattern for you uh, that was developed by my friend Tom Mulford. Uh, he ties a very beautiful version of this fly. Mine's a little dumbed down, um, but it's very easy to tie, very effective, and um, I look forward to showing it to you. So. Let's uh, crack a beer and get started. Cheers. All right, so what I'm using here to tie this is a size 16 uh, dry fly nymph, curved nymph hook. Um, and what I do is I bend the top portion of it here just down uh, to a 90 degree angle. I just put it in my little hemostat, bend like that, and then that's as easy as it is. Just uh, got a nice little place there to tie your fly. And we'll Chop it in the vise. All right, so what we're gonna do is tie in our thread here. This is a brown three-aught braided thread. Just gonna tie it in like normal. Work our way down the shank of the hook here. I work on myself down to even with the tip of the hook. Then we're gonna tie in a little bit of golden brown Ice dubbing just takes a very, very little bit. Tie that in like so, just right up against the shank. And this doesn't have to be anything fancy, just work your way up. And I would go, my, go back down. What we're doing is just building up a little bit of a body here. And that golden ice dubbing represents kind of the glue that was holding the caddis to the bottom. Get back up here to the top and we're gonna bring in our hair that we had in the stacker. This is a brown or a gray dyed Comparadon hair. Now when I pull this hair out of the stacker I like to have it pointed towards the eye of the hook so it's ready to go. I just can pull it out so, yeah, there. line it up, get it fair amount sized up there, and a little bit more, and just crank down on it. It'll flare out there a little bit. That's how you know you're getting it down good and tight. I make one wrap around the back for good measure. So, then what we're going to do, lick your fingers a little bit, pull up on the front end of this so to expose the eye of the hook there. And we're just going to build up a little bit of a head up against this hair to make that deer hair stand up. So we're just building up a wall right there so the hair stands up like that. Grab our whip finisher, we're almost done. I just do one wrap because I glue all my knots with super glue. Tighten that down. Clip the thread off. Come behind here. Grab up this deer hair. Snip it off tight right up against the shank. That is pretty much it. I like to poke these down, flatten them out, puff them out, rough them up a little bit, like so. Take it out of the vise, then I'll come through with my super glue to glue my knot, and I use this um, plastic surgery 
glue, it's super glue. Uh, it has this tight little, nice little applicator. You can get in real tight. Just glue the right under the eye. Just make your knot nice and tight. Put her back in the vise, just to show you. That's your fly. So what, what it does is it rides in the water basically like this. This little shuck drags behind, a little sparkle to it. The hair sits on top. This fly will sit on the on the foam and you know it mimics a hatching caddis, brown caddis. So hope it works out for you. All right, Pat. Let's address the elephant in the room here and uh, explain to us what the deal is with the uh, the bent hook. Well, uh, the bent hook style is just something that. Um, my friend John Gribb, I think, kind of came up with on his own. And in the case of the caddis here, it's um, the hook's turned down, and you're, you built up a body around the sh shank of the hook. And it's um, that represents kind of the shuck that the caddis fly is hatching out of. Uh, but the purpose also of the hook is that it acts almost like a keel. On a sailboat. So, fly hits the water. A lot of times, flies, I'm sure everybody's had it happen to them. Fly hits the water, lands on its side, and you know, your drift is not going to be as effective. Uh, so, what this is, is the fly hits the water. 80% of the time, that fly is going to stand straight up and down. Uh, and in the, in the off chance that it doesn't, you just give your line a little fly tug, or give your line a little tug, and um, that fly will pop right back up, upright. So it's, it works for a great presentation and uh, great great hook sets too. Excellent. Yeah, that, I mean it makes it makes plenty of sense. Uh, when do you like to fish this pattern? Well, it you know it's a caddis pattern, so uh, as you, you fish them, the really dark colored patterns early in the year, March, April, uh, May, June, July, you get into kind of your uh, brown colored caddis. Um, August, September, and October, you're looking at tan caddis. So you can tie the same pattern with all those different colors, and uh, it's really great year-round. Excellent. Um, anything else you'd, you'd like to add? One important thing about this fly is that uh, once you get it tied, uh, I usually wait until I'm on the creek, but you can do it um, right after you tie them if, if you're not going to remember, is you want to take the fly, and with your hemostat, uh, just tweak the tip or the, the hook point off to the side. doesn't matter which way, right or left, but tweak it off to the side a little bit. Uh, what that does is it increases the grabbiness of the fly, so when that trout grabs it, um, you're going to get a uh, lot more hook sets. Uh, if you don't tweak the hook off to the side like that, you will notice that you're missing fish. So, But tweaking it off to the side gives uh, increases your hook hookup percentages uh, exponentially so definitely you're going to want to do that with this fly that's a that's a hot tip thanks yeah <laughs> thanks for sharing the pattern with us yeah thank you all right folks that does it for this episode of drinking with scissors thanks for tuning in and be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with more drinking with scissors episodes also do yourself a favor and head on over to blackearthangling.com to see all the awesome things we're up to until next time, cheers.